welcome back ladies to the sewing nurse channel in today's video i will be demonstrating for you how to achieve a basic ascot valance this valance is to be used by your windows for decorative purposes so we are going to need one yard of fabric for our online valance and two yards of fabric for a lined valance your fabric can be 45 inches or 60 inches in width the length of this valance is 24 inches long so we fold in our fabric in half then you're going to measure down 24 inches and put your marking there so from the top of your fabric straight down is 24 inches down this will be on the folded side the center fold of your fabric then on the open side of your fabric we are going to measure down 12 inches from the top of your fabric on the open side 12 inches then we are going to connect from the 12 inches to the 24 inches in a straight line so using your meter rule you're connecting from the 12 inches to your 24 inches in a straight line then you're going to cut your fabric on this line So after cutting your valance, you're going to open out your valance and this is what you're going to have. You're going to have a very wide piece depending on the width of your fabric, if it's the 45 inch or the 60 inch width fabric. Now, for assembling this, we're beginning with the sides. We are going to use half inch by half inch on the sides so you're going to fold half inch on the side then by another half inch and you're stitching straight down on the sides after completing that then you're going to come to the bottom and you're going to fold half inch by half inch And you're stitching so from half inch to the side straight down to the peak and stitch and then you're going to come on the other side half inch by half inch and straight straight down to the peak after completing now then you're going to fold back your four and a half inches at the top right you're folding your four and a half inches at the top then what you're going to do you're measuring two inches from the top down and you put your pin you're going to run a stitch along that two inch line straight to the other end after you're doing that that will give you the space for the frills on top after doing that you're coming to the bottom and folding up half inch and you're going to stitch as close as possible to the edge straight across this will give you the rod pocket and if you want to have 
beads or fringes to the ends instead of doing the half inch to the half inch what you will do is fold up from the wrong side to the right side at half inch and you're going to attach your beads or fringe here either stitching or sticking if you do not want beads you use the half inch by the half inch stitch and at this peak here if you're not using beads at this peak here is where you will attach your tassel after you put your half inch by a half inch stitch thank you ladies for tuning in see you again on our next video